Welcome back to Introduction to Google Drive for Education. This is the second video in this series and as promised today we're going to look at uh, inserting images, links, and drawings into our documents. So let's just dive right in. Let's say that for starters we want to stick an image in this do document which we started in our last video. This is our resume. The tool to do that, there's a couple of tools. You could go up here to insert, select image, or you could click on this button right here, which is the insert image button. Click that button, this screen pops up. Now you have multiple options here. You can drag an image directly from your desktop into this box, which is a pretty cool tool, pretty nice way to do it. Or you can simply click here and browse to the images that you want. So let's say that I want this one here. Not entirely sure what it is. I think it's me kayaking or a friend kayaking. So there we are. And we've inserted an image. Now once that image is inserted, I can click on it and I'll get my resize handles that I'm familiar with from Word or PowerPoint or whatever. I can shrink it down. I can move it to different spots on the document. So now one of the things I want you to notice that's a little bit different with images that you insert into Google Docs is there's there's only two options as far as alignment of the text. So you can either do the standard in line with the text, which means you know each image that you insert acts as one piece of text and takes up you know the equivalent of one line uh, vertically of text. If you click fixed position, you can actually get some text wrapping attributes where text will want wrap around the document in question. So if I click fixed position and then come in here and start typing, um, I have always wanted to work for a company that loves the great, and notice I get text wrapping by using fixed position. I can also take this document, this, uh, excuse me, picture and slide it over here and it reverses it. That is fixed position. In line with text and fixed position. Now let's go back into our insert picture tool because, or insert image tool, I'm going to show you a couple other options. You can also take a snapshot. Now what take a snapshot does is it actually accesses your camera. So if you want to see yourself in your document as is, or if your kids are using this and they want to you, uh, put their own image in there, they can use this tool. You have to tell the Adobe Flash Player to uh, that you will allow access. Close that, and now there I am. And I just take a snapshot and select that picture. And then again, you can get in here and resize it and move it around and so on. Add more thick, lustrous hair, whatever you need to do. Another one under the Insert Image tool, you can do it by URL. So if you go to uh, a website and right click on an image and copy the image URL, you can actually paste that here. This way, you're not actually inserting the image as much as you're embedding the image um, and so on. So I'm going to cancel that. So those are the three main ways that you would actually stick images into your documents. The next thing to look at is how we can insert links. Let's take that picture out of there as great as it is. So Perhaps I'm going to list my employers. And I want to link to their websites. All right. I can do that real simply. I can highlight the text that I want to be a link. Click the link button. Notice insert link looks like a chain, chain link. I can also press Control K or if you're on a Mac, Command K and I'll get the same effect. 
Notice it says text to display. That's the highlighted text I have. I can actually start from scratch and just put a cursor and then I can manually type in that text to display in this box. And then I insert the link. I can test it if I like. That's the one I want. Click OK. And now I've got a link to Bass Pro Shops. I can do the same with Cabela's or whatever. Highlight it. Click the Insert Link button. And there we go. So I've inserted two links. Really simple tool. Notice you can also insert email links like so. Click the same button but tell it you want it to be an email address. Just insert the link. Click OK. And now you've created an email link. So when they click on it, it'll open their email program address to you. OK. The last part of this is to show you how you can insert drawings. There's a really powerful drawing tool that's included as part of Google Docs. And if you come up here to insert drawing right here, I'm going to insert a drawing. This window opens up. This is my drawing window. There's different tools that I can use here, but these are the most basic ones right here. The line tool, and notice there's several choices here. You have line, arrow, curve, polyline, arc, and scribble. Now, the ones that you're going to use the most often are scribble. That's free drawing line and arrow. Then you also have the shapes tool and you can do shapes, all kinds of different shapes like so on. We'll get to that in a minute. There's a text box tool and you can also insert images into your drawing. So let's get in here. Let's do the scribble tool and we draw a picture of whatever Those are mountains. If you can't tell, there we go. And so on. That's the drawing tool. Now if I want to draw a straight line or an arrow, same tool, just pick what I want. I can change the color of that right here. Here's my line color tool. I can change the thickness of it right here, the weight of it. I can change it to dash lines and so on. And I can also change the type of arrowhead at the tip of it. Okay. Other drawing tools that are commonly used or the shape tools. So I've got these different shapes. So if I want to add a sunshine up here, I can do that by clicking and dragging. Notice, by the way, that if you want it to be perfectly symmetrical, you need to hold your shift button down while you're clicking and dragging, and then you get a symmetrical shape. If I want to change that fill color, because you don't see a lot of blue suns, Click the bucket, and I'm going to change that line color to orange so it looks even better. Just like with most of your drawing tools and things like PowerPoint and Word and so on, if you want to change the order of something, like if I want to move this back behind that mountain, of course that mountain's not filled in solidly so that wouldn't work very well, but I could. I could simply um, command click on it, excuse me, uh, control click on it say order and send it backwards and I can actually send to back and now it's behind the mountain of course like I said that's kinda silly looking but anyway so that's the basic drawing tools that you've got again you can do text
This can be moved around. There's also a rotate tool built into it, which is really nice. Add some nice effects there, and so on. Okay, that's the drawing tool. Now, once you've completed your drawing, the next step is you say save and close. The drawing is placed into my document as one picture altogether, not as separate uh, images. Again, I can click it, I can resize my picture. I can tell it fixed position again, just like I did before with this other one where the text wrapped around it. All right, that's the basics of drawing. So in this lesson, what we've covered were inserting images, links, and drawing. So what we're going to do in our last lesson for Google Docs is we're going to look at how to export and import documents. We're also going to look at how to share. That's one of the most powerful parts of Google Docs is how to share our documents and collaborate with other users.